Exodus chapter 23 verse 19 the first choice fruits of thy ground thou shalt bring to the sanctuary of Yahweh thy God my people the house of Israel you are not permitted to dress or to eat flesh and milk mingled together lest I be greatly displeased and I prepare for you the wheat and the straw together for your food no cheeseburgers sorry <laughs> you know so, no cheeseburgers you know and I know some of you scholars will be like yeah but Abraham took um, a lamb and he made lamb and he made a, a milk to go with it like a yogurt and I, I know what that dish is it's called fata and it's the yogurt is made separate it's on the side and so as you you can eat the meat and then you can add the yogurt to like the rice and the bread and the vegetables that you have as a sauce but it can't be mingled together like cooked together you see what I'm saying like you don't you don't do that so it can't be cooked together now when we get further along he's going to repeat that throughout this Torah I mean a bunch of times and he goes into more details especially back in Deuteronomy but right now we're here in Exodus and we haven't gotten there yet so slowly slowly these are all foundational precepts alright Exodus 23 and 20 behold I will send an angel messenger before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place of my habitation which I have prepared be circumspect before him the word circumspect doesn't mean respectful the word circumspect actually means to consider all possibilities right so to consider everything it means to listen and just consider like okay well maybe this maybe that maybe 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 so it says be circumspect before him of course be respectful too but it says be circumspect before him and obey his words so after we after you've considered all the options then obey what he tells you to do and be not rebellious against his words so now he's, he's reteaching us how to have respect for leadership especially for the ones that are bringing you into the land you see what I'm saying or the one who has prepared the place for you to return so this is what the law states it says and be not rebellious against his words for he will not forgive your sins because his word is in my name so he did this he does this work notice this is his right it says he will not forgive your sins so he's not in the business of forgiveness and his word is in the name of Yahweh so everything that he says will come from the law so it's in Yahweh's name he's doing it in Yahweh's name he's doing it by Yahweh's name for Yahweh's name because he loves Yah so everything he's doing and telling you to do is so that you can be pleasing to Yah so you should listen to this person Exodus chapter 23 and 20 and 21 now verse 22 for if thou wilt indeed hearken to his word and do all that I speak by him see again he's speaking from the law so if you hearken to him and do all that the most high speaks through him because he's giving you the law he says the most high says then I will be the enemy of thy enemy and will trouble them who trouble thee so now the most high says I'm going to go and because he said it because he said it in my name and he's telling you what I told him to say from my word from my law from my scripture from my Torah he says now I'm going to be an enemy to your enemy and I'm going to be on I'm going to trouble those who trouble you so trouble still gonna come but what you're gonna see is the difference is I'm coming after them you don't even have to worry about it I'll get them I'll put them in trouble I'll, I'll cause them problems great problems and great distress so as to correct 
their issues. Right? I'm going to pick it up again in the next video with 23 and 23.